Howdy everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Amateur Artist Mark D. Chandler coming at you once again from Manland here on the YouTube site. Hey, I thought I'd show you the Maltoid can. Now y'all know about them Maltoid can, of course you do. Everybody knows about these little dudes. Man, you can do all kinds of things with them. I'm so impressed with them, the uses. I've got the miniature one. Look at them side by side. This is cinnamon, this is spearmint. I don't like the spearmint, I like the cinnamon but I wanted a small can. So I took the candies out, put it in a plastic bag, and throwed it toward the kids and said, here, y'all have at it. <clears throat> now what we got right here, we got some of that cotton rope. This is what they call cotton rope. Actually, it's off a mop head. But it's 100% uh, USDA approved cotton. Might have some synthetics in there to kind of hold it all together. But what I did is I sat there and made a bunch of this right here up. I plan on giving this right here out at that uh, first annual Southern, the first annual southern bushcraft rendezvous man y'all picked a long title but i want to make me a little char rope just getting out here playing now that's not what this video is about and no it's not about the aerocord usa k-bar neck knife nope not about that either i'm gonna take about a piece about yay long Ooh, gonna cut me a little piece off i gotta sharpen that thing Taking the little miniature air towards, that's right, y'all done figured this out, and I'm going to roll it inside of the tin can like this. Got me some booty paper. Now, this has something to do with what I'm going to show you, but not right at the moment. What we're going to do right now, we're going to make what they call that prison match, and no, that's not what this video is about. Pretty much everybody knows what a prison match is. You just take it and roll your toilet paper up fairly tight not too tight because you want this thing to be able to burn down in case you need the extra you want to keep this thing where it's flammable all right and then the end of this little rosebud you uh stick some cotton in there fluffy cotton okay so that way um you can take a spark or something to easily ignite it now you can get the cotton you can get you can get the now you can pick the cotton off your sock if you want to. <coughs> or if you just happen to have it, just grab yourself a cotton ball. Just take a little bit off of there, keep it nice and fluffy. And place that dude right there in the end of your little rosebud. Sort of like that right there and hold it kind of gently. Now here's one of them lighters right there that's done run out of fluid and I kind of modified it. works better in reverse. And we're going to strike it. I hope this picks up good on the camera. Let me get it to it. There we go. Now we have an instant flame with which we can use to light stuff. Putting it out in is easy. But y'all, this is not what this video is about. Mm, no, no. Just want to show it to you. We're going to light this up one more time. Get us a little flame going. We're going to use this to light up once I get it in there. One thing I will say, I see people keep trying to stick the wood down in there, but that's what that little square hole is for. You get you some sticks, and you can keep them long, longer than this if necessary. And you can stick them in there and get them to burning. They can stick way back here and you shove them in. You just shove them in as you need. But now that there Altoids tin is pretty much ready. So I'm going to let this thing just burn on out. Get back with you after it cools down. It don't take very long for it to cool down at all. But that's not what this video is about. What it's about is while that thing's burning down and cooling down is drinking some sweet tea while you wait. This right here, Donnie Pavolini gave me. Oh, that's so good. Uh, now 
that's sweet tea. It is. It really is. It really is sweet tea. That's that's, that's all it is right there. Hey, I think our Altoids tin can is finally cooled down to the touch. Let's check it out. Now I wiped this down with some of that there booty paper. And don't worry, it wasn't used. <laughs> and we're gonna give this right here a try to see how it works. We got an ember. Yeah, working fine. Gonna close that up. Let that snuff itself out. But what this video here is about is something uh, that an individual told me about a week ago. An actual person, not there on YouTube or anywhere else. And it involves booty paper, toilet paper. And just like the prison match, what I'm about to show you, I think is officially termed the prison wick. Now I've watched some videos out there, and them old boys, you know, especially one of them there on the loan, he lost his ferro rod and because of that he had to tap out and I've seen several other videos about how do you transport an ember from one fire location to another when you really don't have any other means of starting a fire well that's where this right here comes into handy it's a uh, it's a very tried and proven technique now just for this demonstration I'm only going to tear off three squares you can make this thing as long as you want to what we're going to do is just kind of fold it. I don't think there's really any special technique. And now we're going to twist it. And I'm going to start here at the top. Make sure your fingers are not wet with sweat. You want dry, dry, dry. If it's raining and you're trying to transport with this technique, I suggest that you have some way to protect it. But you're going to be amazed at what this little thing here can do. Now here, unlike the fire of uh, the prison match, we're going to take this thing and we're going to tighten it as tight as we possibly can. And as I'm tightening, I'm going to stretch it. Did y'all see that? I hope you did. And I'm going to twist it some more. It's very, very important to get it tight. Now, we're not done yet. We're going to take a little more of this here toiletry, toiletry paper. Another three squares just for the demo. And I'm using this board to demonstrate with. You can use whatever you have to. Your leg, your pants leg, whatever. Lay this in here. And tightly roll this thing. Very, very tight as you go. This will improve the performance. And I think you already can see where we're going with it. Oh, look at there. I got water in there already. See how I recovered from that? <laughs> Drip some water on my oh well we're trying this right here in true technique form don't get your head over it Martin and that's pretty much all we need right there just to finish it off we don't need this much anyway row one now simply just lick that in lick it right there to set it up like we're rolling up a good old fashioned cigarette this end right here I would have kept like I say, this is just for demonstration purposes only. Now, while you have a flame, a flame of some sort, or a good, good ember, that's a piece of toilet paper I threw inside that hobo stove. Now, we have a punk that will burn for a very, very long time. One thing he showed me was to roll it up in a coil. It'll sit there and burn. A about a two foot piece will burn for well over an hour. Now, I was actually gonna take this back to where I normally set up on my videos and then blow it back into flame. So I'm gonna transfer it from here to there. So let's pretend that I'm walking with it, okay? Well, what do you know? This here looks like a perfectly good spot to start another fire. Now the problem is, is uh, it's very difficult to lay this into your tinder bundle and try to use this to blow into flame. I can't do it. I tried and tried every dead gum thing I can come up with. Just putting this inside your tinder bundle, no matter how fine you make it. It seems like it doesn't want to blow into flame. 
but I believe what's happening is because the the ember is inside the toilet paper, inside the road of the road on the outside to protect it, is actually keeping it or preventing it from getting to a high enough ember to spread out into the fibers of your tinder bundle. Know what I mean? Okay. Thus, I'm going to use this char rope that I just previously made to take this to the char rope to blow it into flame. There's a good little piece right there, what do you think? Now, I got me some pine straw here. Pine straw is one of the best dead gum bird nest tender doohickey things you can possibly come across. Now, here's that uh, prison wick. And all we gotta do is touch the end of the char rope there and it burns pretty daggum good. All right, now, I was trying not to get this out of flame. There it is, no mystery, no mischief. This thing's burning down pretty good, so let's give it a go. Oop, looks like an inferno on here. I'm not gonna hold this very long. I know and then you put it on the ground, turn it upside down, and then you get your stick on top of it. But y'all know how to do the rest of it, right? <laughs> but anyway, that is what I wanted to show you. The prison wick guaranteed to get an ember from one campfire to another. I guarantee it. Just don't carry it in the rain. Put it in a can, protect it, make sure it's got some air, put a cover over it. Use your initiative. But anyway, this is Amateur Artist Mark D. Chandler wishing you and all a very happy YouTube experience out there. And remember, get out there and practice lighting one up. Just remember, this has been much more of a serious Manland presentation. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm.